All right, today we are going to chat about five ways that you can think about healing your gut. Here is a disclaimer. This video is not going to magically solve all of your problems. Healing your gut, God, most of us, by the time we know that we need something to help us heal our gut, we are so deep in it and it has taken us, some of us, decades to get to the place where we are. This 10 minute video is not gonna be the magic wand, but it should be super helpful in helping you organize because it's super overwhelming out there, guys. It's super overwhelming. I'm in this industry and even I get overwhelmed, so you're not alone in that. Stick with me. Here are five different things that you can help yourself stay organized with in order to be able to kind of move through things. So first thing you can think about is remove. What are the barriers? Sometimes this part is hard. Sometimes identifying what is the problem is the problem. Hands up if that's you. How many of you are hearing this and saying, if I knew what the problem was, I wouldn't be watching this video. That's sometimes true. That's where you gotta get on board with somebody who you trust to think outside the box and help you. Some starting points that you might consider is food. What's going on with your food? Some of you are going to know, like you know, like you know, what foods are potentially problems right now. And eliminating things is a whole different video and we can go over that, but you can consider your food. You can consider your environment. Are you around a lot of toxins? Are you around a lot of stress? What are your relationships like? That's a hard one. What are the barriers that are in the way that need to be removed? Then, what needs to be replaced? What's missing? Is it nutrients? Is it sleep? <laughs> Is it exercise? Is it really, really granular and very specific types of nutrients? Is it fiber? Is it protein? Is it healthy fats? Are you drinking water? What needs to be replaced? Remember, your body knows how to heal. And if you take away the barriers, remove the barriers, and replace what it is that it requires to function, it'll find its groove. It will do that all on its own. Sometimes we don't even understand how or why it's happening. Trust that it will though, all right? The next thing is re-inoculate. Take it or leave it, guys. If you aren't working with somebody specifically on something, you might not really resonate with that one. Re-inoculate, though, can be very important depending on what your barriers were to start with. So, for example, if you've got um, really low beneficial bacteria in your gut, you gotta get that stuff back up, and there are lots of ways to think about doing it. If that's you, you might consider eating more fiber. You might think about resistant starch. You might think about a probiotic. You might think about prebiotics. If you are in the throes of it, I would work with somebody. Do not start throwing a bunch of supplements at yourself. You're gonna get confused, you're gonna get overwhelmed, and you're not going to know what is helpful and what is hurting, okay? Then, a lot of you can think about repairing. I talk to so many people for the first time and they say, do you think I have leaky gut? I think I have leaky gut. What do you think about leaky gut? What do you know about leaky gut? Most of us have it or have had it at some point. And you're right to be concerned about it. That stuff needs to be repaired. Again, what needs to be repaired though? It's hard to know without working with somebody or really diving into where your current starting point is. Where are you right now? And that is how you understand how to kind of move forward through some of these different categories, all right? So if you're thinking about, oh, I need to repair this, maybe you know, okay? Maybe you know that you had an infection and you had to take antibiotics and now you just know there's something going on in your gut. There's ways to do that. How do you repair the gut lining? Glutamine is a great option, but again, it's gonna come down to simple things, fiber, really rich, beautiful, colored, different types of foods, really good protein, healthy fat. I know, are you so annoyed? That's not sexy, it's not flashy, it's not fancy, but it's true, it's true. Okay, and then rebalancing. What does rebalance mean, you guys? Gosh, there's a lot of ways to think about this. Rebalance 
You could rebalance your lifestyle with stress and sleep, work-life balance. You can rebalance the way that you're eating your food, the way that you're structuring your meals, the timing of your meals. You can rebalance your actual gut flora. Um, going back to repairing, if you had really high opportunistic bacteria and really low beneficial bacteria, you're gonna need to work on bringing balance there. This is how you interrupt the cycles. Do you guys resonate with that? That you're in a loop, you're in a cycle? These are the words that I hear people using a lot, where it just keeps repeating, and then you think there's light at the end of the tunnel, and you're almost out, and then something happens, and you're right back in it, and you're feeling like shit again, and you're super bloated, or you can't use the bathroom, or you can't stop using the bathroom. These five things are sort of the pockets that you can start to take a look at and start to consider to help yourself organize. Is there an order to these things? Eh, not necessarily, not really. A lot of times it is very helpful to do the remove part first because if there's something in the way, it's gonna make all of the other healing pieces more difficult. Does that make sense? So it is helpful to remove the barriers. So let's back up from there. This is how I do it. I actually have three pillars. Identify, plan, maintenance. You gotta identify what is going on. You need to know where you are right now. If you know, for example, I wanna drive to California. You know where California is on the map, but you don't know where you currently are. If you don't know where you are, how do you know which way is California? It's the same idea. If you don't know what is going on in your gut right now, how do you know what the next best step to take is? Identifying what the barriers are in order to take action is going to be the answer for so many of you. Now again, it's not a magic wand and it doesn't automatically mean that if you do a stool sample test, you're just gonna like heal like that. No, there's a lot of things that are gonna unfold. It might be frustrating, and it's probably gonna be a little bit overwhelming because that's the nature of healing, but you do not have to do it alone. You don't have to do it alone. And you do not have to know all of the information that professionals know in order to do that healing. So recapping, you can remove, you can replace, you can re-inoculate, you can repair, and you can rebalance. These are five different things that you can use to help keep yourself organized while you're moving through your gut health journey. I will attach a great little freebie on uh, healing your gut that you might find really helpful as well to get you started. And if you are in a position where you're just like, listen, I, I need somebody to help me do the identifying piece, you know how to reach out or find somebody who you really trust and get that work with them. Enjoy cheering for you.